Hi, I'm Tink Albright with AeroVac Life Team 12 here in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Uh, I'm here today to answer some commonly asked questions about our service. Uh, AeroVac Life Team is a independently owned, membership-based air ambulance service. We are the air ambulance service for this area. Even though you don't have to be a member to use our service, we will fly anybody, member or not. Uh, the difference is, is the membership actually helps support your community. It helps keep the helicopter here in the rural areas that otherwise couldn't afford to have an aircraft sitting there. Uh, we have these sitting at rural areas in 14 different states. If you are a member with us though, uh, you are billed, your insurance is billed, of course, uh, but it, you have no out-of-pocket expense. There is no deductible, uh, there is no 20% you have to pay. It's considered full payment for your flight. Uh, Non-members, when they use our service, of course, we're going to do the same as any other health care agency and we are going to bill their insurance and then whatever's left falls upon the patient as their responsibility. Uh, the cost of an AeroVac membership is going to depend on how many people live in your home. Uh, you have a couple membership for two people is uh, 55, a single person is 50, and a household of three or more is $60 a year. That covers everybody, that's not per person. We also have multi-years available that save you a little bit if you want to do it on a three and a five year type thing. We also have gift certificates, <laughs> sorry. We also have gift certificates available that make great gifts for weddings and, and such. Most insurance companies don't cover the cost of air transport. That's what made this membership necessary. Uh, we don't want to place a financial burden upon somebody that's just had a medical disaster. They have um, specific rates, sometimes they'll say they cover it and they only cover a portion or they will only pay what a ground service would cost which could leave you with thousands and thousands of dollars out of your pocket. The other benefits of having a membership with our service is supporting your community. Uh, we're just another resource uh, for you know the ground services and the fire departments and all and this is a uh, this keeps it sitting right here in Mountain Home. When we first started out over here, we were in Yellville. It was a very, very small town and we were sitting between Mountain Home and Harrison. We have eventually built up enough members in this area that we could kind of split that in half and we put one in Harrison and one in Mountain Home, which provides even better coverage for the folks that live here. Coverage area for each one of our bases is about 70 radius miles around the base. Uh, the way we're set up, we're interlocking. So we all kind of have an overlapping area. So if something happens over here and there happens to be an accident where you need more than one aircraft, you know, we can get three or four aircraft here just within a few minutes. Or if we're gone on a, on a flight, then the one from Harrison or West Plains can come over. You do not have to be in the hospital to be flown. Uh, we also do what we call primaries or scene flights. Uh, depending on what county, depends on on how they, how they do that, but uh, most of the time in Baxter County, we have uh, what we call early activation. It is an early activation county, so when they call 911, they have a list of auto launch criteria. If it fits any of that criteria and it's gonna take longer than 15 minutes for a ground ambulance to get to you, they will go ahead and call us and we'll go ahead and launch and, and start on our way. If we get part way there, or we get all the way there, and it's decided that it's not, an it is not medically necessary for that person to fly, then we just turn around and go back to base and nobody gets a bill. We would like folks to always call their local 911 agency. Anytime there's an emergency, that's who you need to call. The system is set up where everybody works very well together. Um, and if you call us, if you try to call us direct, you're leaving out, you know, you're leaving out that middle person and if something happens and, and we can't make it or something happens on the way there, then we're the only ones that know that you're hurt. So it's better if you call your local 911 service. Even though we do take the patient and the patient's family's request into consideration, the final destination on where you're gonna be taken, uh, what we do is we go to what they call closest appropriate. Closest appropriate may not always be closest. We're gonna take them to wherever the hospital has what they need. Um, it's gonna depend on where you are when you have your injury or illness. It's also going to depend on weather. Um, we're going to go to wherever they can get definitive care. Even though you are a member, membership does not guarantee a flight with our service, uh, what we do is we do what we call life or limb threatening. 
So if you wake up and see us, you know that you're having a really bad day, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be there for you. But we're not going to go to doctor's appointments or, you know, broken ankles, broken arms, anything like that. It's going to be actually anything that's going to need critical care. Aravac Life Team plays an important but separate role in the EMS community. Uh, all of us have our own roles. You've got the law enforcement, your first responders and fire departments, your 911 agencies, and of course your ground services. We all play a specific role in that. Um, and when we all work together, everything usually works out wonderfully for the patient, uh, getting them where they need to go as quickly as we can get them there. Uh, even though if you live close to the hospital, you still may need a membership, uh, not only to support your community, but we do fly out of the hospital. We are extremely fortunate to have Baxter Regional here in Mountain Home. It is a wonderful hospital uh, with the new trauma system going in. There will be times when you will need to go, say, to Springfield or to, to Little Rock, Arkansas, to a trauma center or for a, a neurologist. So there, there are, even if you live close, there's going to be times when you may be flown out of the hospital here. You don't have to worry about having a place in your yard or anything like that to land the aircraft. Um, I get asked that quite a bit. Fire departments, we work very closely with the ground services and the fire departments, and they will take care of everything. You just call 911, they will take care of getting us dispatched, and your first responders and fire departments will take care of getting us on the ground. Hopefully, you will never have to be flown. Um, I would just assume everybody be a member and nobody ever have to be flown. But if you do have an instance where you have to be flown more than one time, it, your membership's going to cover you. It's good for a year if you have to be flown once or if you have to be flown three or four times. We do have specific protocol set forth to, to fly children and to fly you know, pregnant women. Uh, we are not a specialty aircraft. We're kind of like a general practitioner doctor. Um, we can take them if they fit the specific protocol that, we, that we're able to take them, that we're able to secure them onto our cot. There is not room in the aircraft for the parents to ride or any, any riders. Uh, you have just enough room for the, the paramedic, the nurse, and the pilot. Uh, Co-pilot seat has been taken out and converted where our stretcher is, and that's where the patient lays, so there just isn't room to take anybody with them. If you have any further questions, you can feel free to call me. You can call the office at 1-800-793-0010. Uh, uh, you can also visit our website at lifeteam.net. Uh, that website includes everything you did or did not want to know about helicopters. Um, each particular base, we've got almost 90 bases in 14 states, and from that website you can click on service area. You can go to whichever base is closest to you and it will give you a map with distance on how many minutes it will take. Um, it also give you all the information about the crew, pictures, and everybody that's on the crew and any events or upcoming news that we have will be posted on there.